Okay, so here we are outside looking at my outdoor workbench with one interesting addition. Here we see a Reese step bumper hitch receiver mounted onto the side of the bench. Why do we want that? Here's one reason. This baby, this uh, hitch mount vice plate, slide this in there. Now you can put whatever you want up here. Let's see a couple different ideas. Okay, here's one little thing I mounted onto this plate bench grinder. So now if I want to come out here and do some uh, work, I can bring it outside and not have to go into the shop and make a mess in there. As a matter of fact, today I'm going to do some work on the front end and I need to clean some parts off with that wire wheel, so this will come in handy. I also have a similar mount inside the shop so I can take the same grinder anywhere I need to use it. Here's the other good use for this. I have a vise mounted to the plate, which of course is the original design concept, and it comes in very handy. As a matter of fact, today when I do some work in the truck, I'll be using this to hold some things down while I uh, clean the rust off of them. And I can only have to have one vice. I can take this guy into one of my other two workbenches, one in the basement, one in this outdoor uh, shed slash workshop. And of course, being outside, you don't want this sitting out in the rain getting all rusty. So I'll off one of these hitch mount vice plates. This one's from Harbor Freight. This is car item number is 66260. I guess they change, change from time to time. Also, this vice plate. From Harbor Freight came with the hardware. There's four. Looks like about a three eighth inch by inch and a half uh, bolts, two washers, and those uh, locking nuts. A little rubber pad here. One other note here too. Since um, your retaining pin is now going to be oriented 90 degrees off of what it normally is, there's not going to be a way to put the pin in since these are going horizontally and this one's vertically so you're essentially going to have to figure out where you want this to be uh, locked at and then drill some holes from the top down. Looks like about a 5 8 inch hole there. Probably if you could uh, slide it in here and then mark it with a scrawl and put it into your drill press get a nice straight hole. Anyway. Yeah so I finally built that jig for the uh, drill bit sharpener. The Ask Woodman shows you how to build. So I got my 5 8 inch bit sharpened and uh, cut through this finally so I can get a bolt down through here to keep it from moving in and out. Also drilled a horizontal hole in through the workbench to keep it uh, a little bit tighter when you're working on something. You don't want the thing shifting around too much. Hey, here's the back of my tractor. It has this quick hitch on it. I had this same hitch receiver welded underneath this guy. That's what we saw on the workbench over there. And then you can just slide your plate in there and you've got a vise on the back of your tractor for whatever you might need it for. One thing I use it for Go out in the woods, cutting a lot of wood. Just put the chainsaw in there and do a quick sharpen job out there. So here you can see I have the uh, grinder mounted to that vice plate, and is mounted on my workbench here in my little outdoor shop. And basically, that same mounting plate is underneath this work table here. With some countersunk bolts going down through, and then I just cut a hole in the front of the workbench to slide this guy in when I need it. And it pretty much stays in place. Helps to have two hands, but pretty much stays in place once it's in there, so I don't really need to crawl underneath the workbench there and put those pins through to secure that, uh, that plate. If your grinder is fairly well balanced, you're not going to have any problem with this, you know, vibrating too much. As you can see, that's pretty darn stable. I did have a problem before because I had a wire wheel in here and that makes these things incredibly unbalanced and this used to vibrate like crazy. Even when it was bolted down, the workbench would vibrate like crazy, so that's something to consider. And when we're finished using the grinder, we just pop that baby out and stuck it over here on the shelf and everything's cool. Okay, so let me show you up under the bench here. There you can see it's just mounted on there with four bolts coming down from the top. This particular step bump receiver is the one from Harbor Freight. Although you can get a Reese at the Walmart now for about the same price. Okay, just one closing note. Here's my little work area down in the basement. It's fairly tight quarters down here, so I have that same bumper mount mounted to the side of my workbench here. So I can slide that mount in here with either my vise or my grinder on there. And keeps it out of the way when I don't need to use it, which is nice. And also I don't need to have one grinder and one vise for three different locations. Alright guys, hope that helped. Thanks for watching as always. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below.